Hello everybody and welcome back to Lone Oak Farm. So we are going to do this barley field or I'm going to say that uh, the worker is going to do the barley field maybe. Stop driver. What is going on here? Uh, am I on the right thing? I feel like I am. Uh, let's try this again. There we go. So, we're going to let them go. Uh, that is barley. There is a great demand for barley. We're going to swap over to the Big Bud and get it open. You know, I just said we swap over to the Big Bud and get it opened. I mean, emptied. So, uh, that is <laughs> what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to empty out into that trailer there. Eh, maybe. I could just run it back over there. We're not going to need it. Uh, I don't think. I could be completely wrong, but uh, don't think we're going to need it for that field. Hmm. That's very interesting. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that we will. So we'll we'll drive it back over to the farm, get it emptied out. And that is another 38,000 liters. So that's going to push us up to 180-ish thousand liters of wheat. And that means we're just doing awesome. Uh, take a look here at the price. 851 is an awesome price. So that is like the number one reason that we're going to uh, going to be doing that right now. Uh, it's because that is an awesome price. And uh, that may push us pretty good uh, <laughs> up into what we need. So we are looking to get the, the, the big cultivator. It's 180 grand. We need around... 160,000. Uh, so we need 80,000 more dollars uh, for the flexi coil. And then we should be able to get it uh, because we will be selling the smaller cultivator because we are going big or going home in this playthrough. So we are uh, buying everything big. Uh, the smaller stuff, we're probably going to leave like the smaller fields alone at this point. Um, while the smaller fields are cool and everything, uh, on this kind of map, I want to just go big. So, uh, for those that are new, we have been joining together fields, and we will continue to do so as our equipment permits. Uh, we started the series with nothing. Now we have a lot. <laughs> and I think that, uh, you know, we, we've, we've done quite well for ourselves. Is this going to empty? Oh, be a deer now. Come on. Okay, that is not working uh, like I thought it was. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess we will be bringing the trailer over, over. So, let me go get that really quickly. Okay, we need to get this done kind of quickly. The uh, harvester is stopped. And that's never a good thing. So, we just need to get this filled and emptied and all that fun stuff. And I'm going to have to bring over the... Bobcat and get rid of that little pal there. I, I don't know why I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go right in. But uh, that doesn't work like that. Okay, so these are our current prices. This keeps going up, and it's going to hit a green price. I've just got that feeling. Um, so That's just going to be awesome. If we only had silage bales, that's, that's a pretty good price there, too. Uh, that guy did not let me empty. Uh... Sir, <laughs> you are supposed to be completely emptied, not just a little bit there. No, you you need to be in traffic for a second. All right, speaking of bobcats, uh, we've got uh, three bales here, and we're just going to pack them on and run the bobcat back to the house. I'm going to pack them on off screen because uh, we've done bailing in the last, uh, the last three episodes, I think. So we are tired of bailing. I'm just trying to get the Bobcat moved back to the house while we've got nothing else really going on. As soon as the, uh, the combine is full, uh, then we'll empty it out again. But we're really just trying to uh, make a little bit of money today. All right, so we're emptying it out for the second time. I almost got the bales and the Bobcat loaded, though. Okay, this is definitely not my best job, but... Uh, it does what it needs to do. So we're going to run this back over to the big farm. And, uh, yeah. Get it uh, unloaded there. Or something. We're, we're going to do something. 
I'm really just waiting on money right now at this point, so it's kind of uh, a hit and miss on what we've got to do today. So, all right, so the combine's almost done, then we can make a little bit of cash here. Now we are going to be kind of picky here and pick up all the little specs that we can. Uh, because this is one of them times every dollar, you know, every dollar is going to something. So, we want to be as efficient as possible. Now, this should be all the barley. Oop. As I ram the back of the trailer, way to go. Alright, let's go turn this in, see what we get. We get 30,000 liters, so we're going to get like 28 grand. Which is not bad. All right, so we're at 77. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got 25, 561. That puts us at 102. All right, so if we go into cultivators, and the flex goal is right here at 186. Uh, the John Deere is 109. So 15 meters versus 24. I think I'd rather spend the extra, like, 70-some-odd grand. Um, and then we have ours, which is somewhere in here. Yeah, so we're 24 grand. And you know what? I don't think that we need this if we get the flexicle. Um, I really don't. I don't see the point in keeping this tractor anymore. So that would be $36,000. Hmm. That's interesting. So we need like 50 more grand. Oh, also, while we're thinking about it, that way, you know, we're not uh, being dumb here. Uh, we need to send back our stuff. Uh, the step deck, yes. This guy, yes. And this guy. Okay, there we go. Now we won't, uh, now we won't be hurting so bad. Boy, I may have just made a mistake. I was not thinking about it. That trailer had some stuff in it, and I was just going to use it, too. Oh no. That's not good. Alright, so either I lost everything or I dumped it on the ground. One of the two. I probably just lost everything in that. <sighs> Dang it. I wonder how much was in there. I wasn't thinking about it. Hmm. Alright. So we're at 690 right now. I'm going to pass time and see what's going to happen. All right, the price has stalled out and dropped a dollar on seven fifty-five. It is not a green price. Oh my god, that is something else right there. How much wool do we have? Probably not much. We have five hundred liters. Oh man. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna take some and we're gonna sell it. We're gonna take uh, one whole load of wheat. And it is at the uh, Lone Wolf. So I may take two trailer loads and then get our Flexi Hill. I know it's not a green price. And I know that I said that we keep until a green price, but we really need a bigger cultivator at this point. Um, I don't have anything else that's like up there. Like this isn't moving at all. I, I really need it to move. So I think two trailer loads of this, uh, plus our old equipment, is going to push us over. So we should be okay, I think. Okay, I just about took out the building there. Let's uh, not do that. Alright, so I need like $160,000. And then we will for sure know that we're okay. So we're really kind of shooting for 160. All right, so we got 26074 for that. I 
think we're going to be fine with one more. Let's see the price. Oh, okay, it did drop. I've got time at zero. I know that's kind of cheaty. But, uh... Let's sell one trailer load of canola. One trailer load of canola will push us over. Alright, off we go with the canola. So we'll definitely have it today. Good. I'm excited. Okay, we're at 128, 654. Somehow I'm stuck. Maybe the truck's just worn out. It's like sagging or something, I don't know. So that was 42 grand. That was not a bad haul. So that pushed us over to 170. So yes, we will be fine to uh, drive the case and the, well, the two cases. We have a, a case uh, uh, cultivator as well, so. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna run that stuff down there, get it sold, and we're gonna buy our brand new thingamajigger. All right, so that was like the longest drive, and it is the last one in the case, so it's kind of uh, kind of bittersweet. We've had this thing forever and a day. It's been pretty reliable. There's been some issues with you know some mods conflicting, but uh, what do you do? Uh, the Implement on the back though. I uh, don't think I'm gonna miss it too much uh, Well, it's okay, and it does its job. It's not really uh, Worker friendly so okay, there we go 200 grand And Goodbye old friend 14 grand wow that That shows you how much we used it all right, so now we can buy our cultivator, which is going to be the Big Bud Pack Flexi Coil. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy the sucker. There we go. And we're not even going to take it home. Uh, we're actually going to end the episode here. Uh, probably a pretty good place to quit, but there it is. What we're going to do is use it over in the field. Uh, 17, 16, 22, and 23. Remember, we're going to do all those as grass fields, and we're going to have to, you know, do a little bit of work there. So, yeah, that is what we're going to use this for in the next episode. So, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.